In this video, I'm going to go through the sequential steps I built this canoe. The very first step is to transfer the plan onto the chloroplast. This is a very simple plan, and yet, as you can see, I still make many mistakes. That's why you see many extra lines, which shouldn't be there. Please also watch this video before you transfer the plan onto the chloroplast. The next step is to make all the fold lines. You may refer to my other videos on how to make those fold lines. For the black lines, the roller is pushing the corpus from the top. The red lines are those being pushed from the other side. This is the first time I fold the corpus into the shape of a boat. Usually this is the most challenging step for me. Because these four lines are longer, and it's easier for me to roll it into this shape, I use a lashing to pull the sides together. Then I gradually apply force along the edge, trying to make the coral plus to fold together. Now, you may have to wiggle it. You will have to do the same on all the four lines. I make holes on the bow and at the stern. Then I use a reusable zip tie to close the bow and stern. That will help me to fold the boat together. You may use strings if you don't have a zip tie. To fold it into a boat, I have to push this one out, push this side out, the stern, and then flip this top piece here and use a plastic buckle to tie it up. Same with the other side. To fold it for transportation, push this side in, same, push this side in, and this form, forms a triangle. Then I, you can see it here, okay? And you push it up, Push this side up, same on this side. The coral plust, which is more rigid, is easier to fold than with the paper as I demonstrated here. And it is locked together. When you open it up, you have to push this side force it out and then lock it. It's that simple. I used the heat fusion to make the gunnel. If it's too difficult for you, you may use zip tie as shown in this video. I divided the 42 inches long gunnel into three sections so I can fuse them one at a time and have a better result. I make the inner diameter of the gunnel at three and a quarter inch using a three and a quarter inch metal pipe so that it will be easy for me to slide in a half inch PVC pipe later on. There are four V-shaped folds on this boat, and I used the gaps between cement to create a fold at the width of about a quarter of an inch. At this width, it would be very easy to fold the V-shape together. If I don't use it, then the fold may be only around one eighth of an inch, and it will be very difficult to make the V-fold. I cut four straps from a detergent bottle and then use garment to make four straps. Then I attach one end of the strap using zip ties to the side of the boat. Because I have many bungee balls, therefore I use bungee ball to pull the V shape fold together as shown here. You can use webbing 
and plastic buckles, like some of the commercial boats in the market. And probably it will look better than what I'm doing here. I use heat fusion to fuse the bow and the stern so that water cannot get inside the inner channel of the coral plast. I allow between 3 quarter to 1 inch width of coral plast. Then I apply heat until I see the edge of the coral plast start to shrink. Then I put the edge of the wood on top and hold it tight. You should not move this wood piece until the coral plus cools down. Otherwise, it will damage the fused edge and water may leak in. After you remove the wood, you can see the top and bottom piece of the coral plus are fused together. I have to trim off a triangular piece at the tip of the bow or stern so I have more clearance and allow me to fuse the bow or stern together. Now I have to determine the permanent position for the zip tie for closing the bow or stern. After all the preparation work, now I'm ready to fuse the bow. This step has to be done very fast. You don't have a lot of time. Once the corpus is getting cooler, it will not stick together. In this demo, I use a wood clamp. I think using two long pieces of wood will be better because I can provide a more even pressure to both sides of the bow. Fusing the bow this way is very good because it created a very well defined gap where I can apply silicon sealant. The fused nose is very strong and I don't think I need further reinforcement in that area. I use the plastic buckle to close the bow and stern. As on the end of the strap, I use zip tie, which is better than using screw because sometimes the end of the screw may pop holes on the coral plast. I use neoprene to cover up the holes at the bow and at the stern. The size of the floor will cover this part of the boat, which is 42 inches by 32 inches. I like to place the floor at the bottom so as to give more protection to the boat when I move the boat around. Therefore, I make the floor to be 12 and a half inches wide at the center and 9 and 3 quarter of an inch on both sides. Later in the design, I realized that I have to extend the floor longer, so I add an extra piece of coral plast to lengthen the floor. I use a half inch PVC pipe to make this cross beam, and I place it 12 inches away from the center line of the boat. In between, I can fit a seat for the solo mold. Then I add two more lashings, mainly is to maintain the shape of the boat. I use the corpus to make a rectangular tube about two inches thick. Inside, I stuffed with a recycled packaging material. At the bottom of this tube, I add another layer of packaging material. This will form the shape of the bottom of the boat. Then on top, I add another layer of packaging material, which basically is foam, as a cushion for the seat. I used the bungee cord to tie this stack together. And the overall height of the seat is around 5 to 6 inches. This is how it looks. The best part is I can take all the pieces apart for storage. 
These are the 10 major steps in building this boat. And in my next video, I'm going to share some of the best known method, BKM, uh, in building corpus foldable boats. And if you like this video, please give me a like, or better, if you subscribe to my channel and tell your friends about this video also. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.